Hi, welcome to the beer show, starring me, John. Who else would it be? I'm not going to fire myself. So, for episode three here, I decided to come back to America, and also to do a seasonal brew. Seasonal brews usually happen, well, like they say, once a season, and the one I'm going to talk to you about today is Canine Cruiser by Flying Dog. Canine Cruiser is considered a winter ale. I believe it uses um, English hops in it. But first, I'd like to talk about Flying Dog Brewery just a little bit. Flying Dog Brewery was started back in 1990 in Aspen, Colorado as a brew pub. It wasn't even a full-fledged brewery, just, you know, a little brew pub in Aspen. I believe it was one of the first ones in 100 years to open there also. Shortly after that, they moved their brewing operations to Denver so they'd have a little more space because they were getting really popular based off their doggy-style ale, which was the original. They also opened up a brewery out in Maryland, I believe Fredericksburg, Fredrickson, one of the two and they were brewing there. Well, as of the late 2000s, they are no longer brewing in Denver, they're only brewing out of Maryland, but the administration and the owners and everything are still back in Denver. Flying Dog Brewery offers, on a normal, non-seasonal basis, one stout, I believe three gales, and a Hefweizen, and a lager. But today, we're gonna talk about their seasonal offering, the Flying Dog Canine Cruiser Winter Ale. This little winter ale here has 7.4% alcohol by volume. That's pretty good. That's going to give you a nice little buzz, and it's going to give it a nice little bite also, being an ale. Now, like I said before, this one uses English hops, and it's kind of it's a little bit of a malty flavor, but color-wise, well, I'll let you make the make that judgment for yourself. See what you think. To me, it's a nice reddish amber color. Gets a nice little uh, foam head on it. And, I mean, that looks nice. Now, being a seasonal ale, most seasonal ales have similar flavors. To me, they always taste like there's a little bit of citrus, there's a little bit of a nuttiness flavor in it, and a little bit of, um, I don't know, they're a little sweet sometimes, and they just taste like there's a little bit of roasted in there. There's also a little bit of malt flavor to it. Now, if I taste this, I'll tell you exactly what I think right now. It's nice and smooth. It's not very bitter. The taste, the sit to me, it's kind of got a little bit of a citrus taste that comes up on you. It could be some other spices they put in there. I'm really not sure. But it's a nice, smooth ale. It tastes wintry. It tastes like fall. It tastes like the Christmas time. It tastes like what you would expect one to taste like. So if you like pale ales and ales and English ales and India pale ales, you know, IPAs is, you know, they're known. First off, give this one a shot for the, you know, for the season. And second off, check out Flying Dog Brewery because they have plenty of them. And I'm sure you'll find one you like there. And this is John saying thanks for watching episode 3 of The Beer Show. Keep watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I do read it and I will take them seriously. If they're serious. Thanks. Cheers.